Alright guys, uh, this is part 4 of my uh, Pedita um, video tutorial. Uh, in the last video, um, if you, you saw me not paint jeans very well, <laughs> um, I basically I gave up at this at this point trying to um, achieve the effect I wanted with uh, paint because I felt like it would take too long to do. So instead, I um, got my airbrush and decided, you know what, I'll just airbrush on top and I'll airbrush highlights where I want the highlights to be so they'll be dead smooth rather than the sort of textured uh, way I had before. Um, but because I'd left <clears throat> the uh, underlying paint with all the sort of horizontal um, textures in from the dry brushing and, and whatnot, um, and I just airbrushed these highlight, these sort of weathered areas on the jeans on top, it came out really nice. So um, what I've been doing is I've set my airbrush to quite a low PSI, somewhere between between 15 and 20, because this is quite detailed work, and because uh, and I don't want it to just uh, shoot paint out too much because I need to get right in there, dead close to the uh, the model. And obviously, if you're shooting at too high an air pressure, what's going to happen is the paint's going to come out and then instantly just get like blown all over the miniature rather than just sticking where it wants, you know, where you hit it. The other thing is, uh, what well, you have to make sure is that you thin the paints for this as well, because if you're shooting at a lower PSI, the paint needs to be thinner. And you can see there um, um, how the effect's building up. So I'm basically doing the same thing as before uh, with the colours. I'm just using the intermediate blue and then adding in this grey, and eventually I add in some white as well to get it past that um, to the highest highlight. But I've thinned this loads, so for every like drop of paint is like four or five drops of thinner as well. And because I kept just mixing the colours in the colour cup of the airbrush, I was adding in an extra five drops of thinner, you know, each time. So it got really, it actually got runny when it got to the, the brightest colours. Um, so I had to be really careful. Now my airbrush has a little um, uh, uh, dial at the end you can turn. And that, it, depending on how tightly you turn it, it depends on how far back you can pull the uh, the trigger. And that's really handy for stopping you from pulling the trigger all the way back and you know just shooting loads of paint out. But the problem with that is, is if you, you set it too low, like I was doing, so you can only pull it back a tiny amount. Um, because you can't blast all the paint through every now and then, it clogs very easy, which is why I keep having to stop and test fire it on, um, on the piece of paper I've got as the uh, the backdrop, just to check that the paint is flowing, because I really don't want to um, overspray like I did just there. I accidentally oversprayed a bit, but I quickly rubbed it off with my thumb and it was fine, and I just sprayed over it. So after doing this with the airbrush, I actually decided it's probably how I'm going to do the jeans and stuff on the other miniatures of this crew, because um, I think it, it works really well. It gives you that sort of um, that faded look the jeans get, um, and I was having real trouble trying to achieve it with just the brush alone. So I think in future what I'll do is is sort of exaggerate and put paint in these horizontal lines and textures with a really bright highlight color on top of the blue, on purpose, so that when I I then airbrush over the top of it with the same sort of building up to the same colour. So what's going to happen is you're only really going to see these horizontal um, uh, lines just sort of just behind. You know what I mean? Like kind of like transparent and just poking out through these um, these nice smooth airbrushed highlights on top. And I think the the effect will be subtle enough, but it'll, um, that it'll look good and it'll apply the texture of of denim. Um, but yeah, uh, it, it was just quite convenient, I guess, that I hadn't painted the boots and, and other parts of the miniature, so it was actually quite easy to airbrush this without obviously worrying about having to mask off areas. Uh, but I was trying to be very careful I didn't hit that skin on the belly. But again, if I had, I would have used isopropyl alcohol and just gently brushed over the top and try and just remove that top layer of the blue paint, which I would have inadvertently just added. Anyway, there we go. That's the final result. I was really happy with it. Um, stay tuned for the next one where we paint the hair.